Hello, my f fellow punks. How we doing today? Um. So yeah, we're doing a demo day on uh for on uh, Saturday, to make up for uh last. Uh, I couldn't stream yesterday because I had to go to a Halloween event. But that Halloween event was <laughs> it was a bit of a mess because uh, I went to my sister's. Uh, they have a little kid, so we were going to go trick-or-treating, but their neighborhood does it today. And uh, so I, so we will get it right next year. Yeah, that'll be a thing we'll do. Uh, but yeah, hi, hello, Epic Sugar. Welcome, welcome. You have missed nothing. So, um, today we're doing something a little bit different, but I should be fine. Um, uh, I love this kind. There's a certain kind of game that I haven't streamed before that I absolutely love. And that is card games. Card games are, like, my childhood jam, and, like, they are my shtick. And so we've got a specialty, a uh, special stream for me, personally, of three of a kind, is what I'm calling the stream. But uh, we're doing three different card games that recently just came out, um, and uh, depending on how they do. Uh, we've got Inscription, which is like an indie game that um, was made by a guy who made some really impressive previous games. Or it might have been a small team, I don't know. We've also got Ring of Pain. Which, if you've seen the trailers, uh, for the, the, those are some pretty fun trailers. And that's also kind of cool. And then we've got Isle of Dragon Roars. Which seems to be card tiles and done by the guy who worked on Nier. So, uh, I'm pretty hyped. It, it, as someone who plays card games a lot, a lot of the times we get shitty card games, and then the most, the majority of the community doesn't wise up and doesn't go like, guys, th th these are just loot box simulators. <laughs> so whenever we get like an actual video game game of a card game, I really do appreciate it. It feels that all the better. Um, I think the last actual legit card game game that I played was like Shadowverse Champions Battle. But yeah, um, but uh, enough about that. Uh, so right off the bat, we're going to go play some Inscription. Hey, uh, Jesus is my Lord 121. Fuck you. Not, just, just, just fuck you. I was like, ha, huh, cool, new person. You got my hope up. But, um, yeah, now, oh, wait, fuck, one sec. Your skull has been cracked. Yeah. Ah. This. Ah, you, you, ah, all right. Well, hopefully that's not like a bad omen. Hopefully. But uh, let's just get on with it. Click. Yeah, Danielle Mullins games. He did a couple of other cool games. Also, Devolver Digital. Uh, maybe not fully indie, but to figure out what's on this list. probably porn, like probably porn or somebody's crappy homemade movie. I'm guessing one of the two. Oh man. I pressed a button. New game. Continue. game continue options credits quit but this is me first time playing continue okay maybe this is because it's a demo so this game is a little weird it's got it's not like a card game that teaches you how to play it's more like an escape the room that Expects you to die until you figure out how to play. Oh, oh. Spooky. 
Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Yes. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Got some stout. A wolf. Oi, oi, you in the back is loud. Stow it. <laughs> uh, can I trust you, sir? Can I trust you if I play this squirrel card? Now play your stout. Okay, so that's WASD. Cost one blind. Sacrifices must be made. An honorable death. Play the stout. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn to commence combat. Okay, so here's what I love about this game already. And I wish more card games would do it. So you have this board. This screen. Which is very informative. Tells the player what you need to know. But you also have a way to view the player. And I would really love a card game based on like you reading AI movements and structures, and I would love something like that, but l nobody has come out with it. Um, so we'll ring the bell. The stout stands unopposed. The number on the left is the... At yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got uh, power, toughness, standard, magic. Your stout deals me one damage, and I, want, I added it to the scale. Uh, so wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. If you win, if you tip my side all the way. Like this. Also, we can see his hand. That's creepy. A lot of people have been l playing, uh, liking this game. My stoic stands in the way of, uh, your stoic stands in the way of my cow, coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoic. That means your stoic is health is too less. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is standard. So, I guess I'm wondering if this is persistent damage in which my stoic will get his health back at the end of the turn, or if this is not the case. Like in Hearthstone, uh, reaches a zero, it dies. It is your turn again. Also, we do not deal damage back to. You may draw a card, or you may draw a squirrel. We can draw a card. I think we need to draw a squirrel. How dull. F fuck you, man. I'm gonna play the squirrel. And then... Wolf demands two sacrifices. Fear not, the beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. It's suffering was real, but you will see it again. <laughs> Guilt trip me, do why don't you? Uh, I think we kill the coyote. I think it has. I'm gonna play here. And then we hit the bell. Yeah, okay. Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, okay, choices. Uh, we'll draw a card. Red Snapper. Um, what is the stats on this Red Snapper? I can't see the stats on my cards. While they're in my hand. Uh, three damage dealt the weight of the scale. Pass. All right, we'll play a squirrel. I think we win. You have won this match. They won't all be so easy. All right. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the woods. A single path revealed itself. I'm liking this. I'm loving the vibes on this. We'll try this for now. 
Uh, two distances of a four tree with tenacity. This one. Adder. Uh, the caustic adder damage is poison bites is always lethal. So it has death touch. The magic equivalent of death touch. The undying sacrifice the poor beast. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Awesome! That's really good. Only one may grace your paltry deck. I will take the cat. Death touch is cool and all, but it's kind of boring. I've I've seen it before. Another creature joins your caravan. All right. Some creatures of the forest will seem dwelling to fly. What's here? You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel bottle. A squirrel in a bottle. Break it in case of emergency. You, and have a second. Another useful implement. It will allow you to tip the scale with it. Really? Three is as much as you can carry. Alright. We'll save the I don't I'm gonna try and not use these two items. Uh you were ambushed while crossing a rough terrain. Okay. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Play along for now. Ooh. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Okay, so he plans to play a wolf cub there. Uh, fielding. Uh, fledgling. A card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. So I think the cat is a zero one. The wolf is fine. You are lacking sacrifices for a stab. Uh, you can't. Hmm. Should we go ahead and use the squirrel bottles? I'm uh, guessing these means, hey, you get them immediately. I forgot if we can play more than one card a turn. Hmm. I kind of, I really do want to see what this red snapper does. Uh, squirrel baby, go here. Okay, so we can sacrifice squirrels. Uh, relatively with ease. And then we'll play a stout by sacking the cat. And here we go. All right. Oh, if I go... Okay, I just have to go one further. That's how I see. R River Snapper's really got a big fat butt of six. All right. Let's see what you got. Mind the ambitious wolf club. It ages swiftly. Mm, I know. We'll play... The, we'll draw the squirrel. Play the squirrel here. Play the snap uh, by sacrificing the squirrel and the cat. Cat stays around. I'm going to play the snapper here. And then we'll in turn. Okay, so it became a wolf. A 3-2 wolf. Bat. Airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ah, my bat flew right over your cat. No! Oh! Um. Shoot. That is very bad. We can't get over that. I need something cool. Ah, uh, we have our own wolf. Hmm. I feel like we're going to die really easily to this... I can't move. Wow. 
Okay, well, we're just screwed, I think. We'll die in like two turns, so. I need power on the board if I can get it. I don't want to sack my stewart. I, I feel bad. You know what? We'll play. We'll play the wolf here, and he'll take out the other wolf. I should see what this does. Ow! A well earned point of damage. I don't think you would. I didn't think you would really do it. Okay, so another thing I'm just realizing now. Um, there is no life totals. There is just the scale, and you just have to be doing better. So that's also interesting. I think we'll just play. Oh, fuck you. We want the squirrel. And we'll play the squirrel here. Play the wolf and the cat. Play the wolf here. And that's... We'll deal him one. He'll deal us... Uh, we may die. I don't know the exacts. Okay, we're on... I feel as if we're on death's door. So, let's draw us a card. A wolf. Can we outplay him from here? There we go! I mean, we're, we're going to outpace him by three, I feel. Also, I'm noticing the stout is animated, but these cards are not. Alright. I'm not going to sack the stout, just in case there's like a hidden mechanic of me sacking it. It's bad. We'll get there. He may smack us down a little. This is cool. I like this comp set of no zeros. What does this even do? You prevailed and trekked onwards past the blooded terrain. This is very cool. I do like it. It's, it's, I've never seen like a health system that worked like that. Sparrow, Meek Sparrow, inexpensive, uh, if feeble flying creature. Wo Young Wolf Club, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. I mean, flying is cool and all, but have you seen damage? I'm going to take the Wolf Club. Wolf Club seems good. Uh, it's a 1-2 bird. If it was a 2-1 bird, maybe, but yeah. What you got? You've stumbled onto some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice on the one that will be lost forever. Oh. Uh... The cat is kind of good, though. I feel like we get so much value off of the cat, and the wolf club's kind of gimmicky at best. We do this, and then this. Pick me. All right, Stout. I'm I'm helping you. What an honor. Oh, okay, so we sacrifice crappy cards to make other cards good. Okay, a ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the wolf club now lives in the stout. <gasps> Wait, the, the wolf club transforms. 
And now the stout will transform. Okay, that is really cool. Ah, uh, maybe I should have given it the uh, other card. If I had known the abilities transfer over, then yeah, that would have been amazing to do. Just have like an offensive one drop. Oh shit, behold, my totem in inscribes my canine cards. With the airborne sigil? He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough! My only keeps this round to watch me suffer. He plans to play a coyote and a bat. The coyote has w one toughness. And the bat we can take. Let's take care of that coyote. Well, actually it doesn't matter what we do. Alright. I'm going to play the squirrel. Sack the squirrel to get a cat. Drop our boy the stout. Back on the board. I kind of like this. I love this mechanic. It's like having like a dual monster spirit. Tickety talk. My totem granted me the coyote power of flight. That's fine. Alright. Play the squirrel. Sack the cat and the squirrel. Play the snapper. Alright. So this cut elder stout will will counteract the bat. Um My snapper should kill this coyote. Yeah, yeah, let's 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 ring a ding ding, baby. Uh we're, we're gonna lose the cat this turn, so I'm gonna draw. It is a wolf. Uh I'm gonna use a squirrel bottle. Play the squirrel. Sack cat, get scroll. We, we're getting tons of it. We should get enough advantage off of this that I won't. Like, we've gotten so much advantage off of the cat that should be good. We'll lose the cat to a wolf claw, but th that, that's fine. That's fine. Also, we could use these squirrel bottles defensively. I'm realizing that now. Whoo! But, uh, ta! Yeah. Alright. So how is how is chat doing today? Wolf. We have a 3-2 wolf. Okay. Ring a ding bing. Hey, we didn't even lose the cat! Today's my good day? Tell me about it, if you don't mind. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. All right, what do we got here? Flip, a proud wolf, a vicious contender. Boring, we already have an elk. It moves to the right after attacking. Uh, its form speaks enough of, a, of a efficiency. Hmm. Well, tomorrow's the last day of the local fun fair today we went there. Awesome. Hmm. Uh, some nice rides they got there. Nice. Uh, I've never been a fan of, like, when card games just have cards that turn or, like, shift. I find them gimmicky. Ooh. The Giga Grizz sounds pretty tough. Do 
we go Giga Grizz or Giga Wolf? Let's go Giga Grizzly. Hmm. We could. I kind of want to sacrifice the Grizzly. Hmm. Let's go here. Figure out with this. I think that's a sacrifice stone. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from the starvation, they would huddle around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm up one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire and it will enhance the power, another said. You notice one of the survivors whipping drool from their mouth. Alright. Uh, I think this is like what this is saying. Is that sure? Play one of your hmm. Ferret's not trusting it, and I don't trust it either. We can be fuck it. Go, we could go big home. I, I'm half tempted to go in with the rivers. We could go the grizzly or the river snapper. Those would be good. Like, but well, the grizzly is the riskiest card in our deck. The fire warmed the poor grizzly, enhancing its power. One of the fibers reached towards it, another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the grizzly away from the fire and left. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, they got some nice rides they got there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. I always liked the fun houses and like hall of mirrors. Those were always my favorite rides. Always, also the bumper cars because you could control that, and like you could bump. It, it's just an excuse to be a dick to your friends, which I absolutely fucking love. All right, Scullerino, what do we got? <laughs> There's a way out for the both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent, or I will tear you to shreds. Okay, so we got one two sparrow here and a four six grizz. Yeesh. Grand fur blocks. We need to deal with that grizzly. Perhaps with a grizzly of our own. Hmm. But we can't deal with the grizzly until we deal with the sparrow. And the sparrow won't. It's gonna take forever to get with this. Like, we can't play our grizzly because we need one, two, three sacrifices. I would love to, and even with the cat, it's just not gonna work. So I think our best bet is just to try to counter the grizz. I. I, if I played the cat, the cat's played there. Hmm. I really want to play the stout. So we'll go squirrel into stout. Let's sacrifice the squirrel, play the stout. This spot, you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. And then we'll play the scroll here to guard. Fuck! Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Stout. Uh, draw the fecking squirrel, I guess. 
play the squirrel, play squirrel here. Oh, this is annoying. I wish I could sacrifice these stupid trees. I don't know how you're supposed to win this. this well we did for yeah no I think we've lost this is just shit run play the squirrel summon the cat play the cat here yeah man mr. plays two grizzlies uh, it'd be nice if I could play my own Grizzly, but no, I guess I'd die. Yeah, no, I think this is scripted. You're, you're, you're just... You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to miss the... Uh, may, oh, maybe the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Up from the table. Fetch the candlestick from atop the barrel... Besides the door. Candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Well, let's all try for midnight. Midnight's a magical hour. <laughs> Alright, there's thousands of combinations for that. This is really cool. Oh wait, I bet you need this wolf to put it in here. Yeah, put the wolf there and then you get there. Bring it here. All right, fine. Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of two one of that was one of two mistakes you can make here. If you make another one, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? All right, let's go via the bag. I'm feeling the bag, yeah. Elk, sparrow, red snapper. The stalwart snapper in your impenetrable defense. Wait, fuck, oh, I misclicked. Oh well, it's fine, it's fine. We don't need it. I think, 
It also, there was the little thing right next to Snapper. And I think that was saying, hey, you should probably get this. You may cut up one of my cards with these. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only from the turn. Choose one. Uh, to the user, a black goat is created in your hand. A black goat is defended super. Huh? I think we take the goat, because then we can put out a bear with that. A rock may get you out of a hard place. I really want to use... Hmm. Give me the squirrel. Alright, so we could... Did you give me removal? Oh. Ah, man. So, Epic Sugar, you, are you familiar with card games in any way, shape, or form? Uh, feeling overburdened enough with a... Full of it. You carry on. <laughs> boss. Sounds like a boss fight. Oof. The trees seemed close it, to close in around you as the chill mist descended. In the distance, you hear a clinking of metal and stone. Metal and stone, sorry. A uh, hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeehaw! Uh, uh, Towards the prospect. Boulder. River snapper, wolf, cat. Alright. And what has he got? A coyote and a pacule? I'll kill that coyote. Alright, a cat. Give me. I really want to start off strong, so give me the squirrel. What do we need? Yeah. Throw out the snapper. Ring a ding ding. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you slide underneath that sucker? Play the squirrel, sack, squirrel, and cat. Get the squirrel. I mean, get the wolf. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. There we go. We need this. He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's the key. All right. Part of me kind of just want to keep on trucking, so we'll just let this play. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. So we killed him once, which is really good. There's gold in them there cards. Hey! Dick! Gold, I've struck gold. Give me this. Can I play the stout? No, I cannot. He killed my cat. Oh, you dick. Get him. Give me this. Grizzly, yes. All right. All right, we'll play said squirrel. Sack the squirrel for a goat. What does this even do? 
Uh, guardian. Where opposing creatures place on the opposite to an empty space. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about that. So, this grizzly will do great. Give me the squirrel. Play squirrel. He won't die. Okay. Okay, so the bear will give us the pack mule. The bull bloodhound will get... They'll trade, but he'll get tougher. That's fine. I mean, he's got that adder, which is fine. What'd you give me? A new hand! Dang damn it, my meal! <laughs> Hell yeah! Enough. Give me the squirrel. I need that. All right. So we've got squirrel, a skunk. What the fuck's a skunk? A porcupine, an elk, and a squirrel. Oh, I don't know what to play, but we'll play the squirrel. I don't know what my little porcupine will play here. The stout kills the bloodhound, which is fine. Elder stout. Okay. I could kill his adder, but I don't really care. Awesome! We keep the porcupine! Awesome. I thought we might lose it. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card because we don't need it this turn. I'm gonna sack this sparrow if I can. <laughs> Memory card is full. Well, it's a strange feeling. Camp. Hey there, card gamers. I'm. Awesome. This is really cool. I'm a I'm a definitely buy this. October 19th to BC. Well, it's already past that, but this is. Wow, great video. <laughs> oh, wow, it actually closed out the game. Okay. So that was Inscription. Uh, I like it. Um, hey there, I'm going to add that to my cart. And uh, pick that up right now, actually. Uh, purchase for myself. Uh, back. Here we go. Where's that? Hold on. So, I really do like that. Um, I thought Inscription was pretty good. I, it did a lot of, like, revolutionary things that I have not seen in the card gaming genre. Uh, okay. There we go. Uh -huh. I agree to terms. Purchase. Yeah. I was already... I purposely... I, I set aside like a hundred bucks for the Steam Summer Sale. And I'm like, you know, I'm prob I'm streaming a bunch of new demos today. And so like I, I called out on like 30 of it. 
and being like, I'm probably going to want to buy one of these games. And I'm glad I did. i glad I did. Um, so, yeah, I will definitely be streaming that again. Um, so, what's up next on the demo docket? So, we could do Ring of Pain, which I thought was really feckin' cute. Um, or we could do Isle of Dragons... Isle of Dragon Roars, which is also another cool little card game. Um, I think I'm going to do Isle of Dragon Roars because I am pretty hyped for that. So why don't I go boot that up? Um, yeah, I agree to these terms and services. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and update from that to I-S-L-E space of R-O-A-R. Uh, oh. oh, voice of cards. Okay, wait, one sec. V-O-I-C-E. There we go. There we go. All right. So we'll just go ahead and update thing there. Close that. And we are golden. All right. All right. So to the game. Uh, thank you for downloading the Voice of Cards demo. Please uh, note, some characters and items will defer in the retail version. All right. Man, we have, I have been getting spoiled. Like, after that first one, I'm like... That was like a banger right off the bat, and I loved it. Um, multiple things I loved of inscription, and this one is developed done by Square Enix, and I'm excited to check it out. Um, full version, multiplayer, new game. Let's do new game. I know there's going to be some... Good afternoon. <gasps> or should I say evening? Uh, morning. Morning? At any rate, I am the Game Master. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Before we begin, there is something I must tell you. Okay. You see, my job is to draw you into this world with my voice and cards. Which is why I believe it best for you to play with the sound on. In fact, I insist on it. However... As you can see, my voice is subtitled, so you can always read along as well. Now then, are you ready? Let's begin. A little bit of fourth wall breakery. <clears throat> it's like pseudo fourth wall? Welcome to Voice of Cards. Because he acknowledges gameplay mechanics, but he's like, the game in itself is like, he he's not... Okay, I feel like they've created a pseudo middle layer. There's like obviously the fourth wall layer, and then there's like the 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 fictional layer. But like by presenting himself as a game master, he's kind of like this weird go between. Welcome to Voice of Cards. Oh oh shit! I can play this on controller. You are about to take the first steps of your adventure. Through a realm of sword and sorcery, you will travel, battling bloodthirsty monsters as you strive to realize your ambitions. I. I have every faith you will accomplish great things here. Uh, and you are who might you be? Be right back. All right, that's fine. Take your time. Um, actually, you know what? Before we. Nah, I can go. Let's go a little longer before I go break. Let's let's keep it. And you are? I, I am merely a witness to your exploits. <laughs> now then, your departure draws nigh. May your journey be a safe one. All right.
I like this. I like this. This is Castle Advent. Queen Nilla reigns over the kingdom from within its walls. Three white-clad adventurers have gathered here at the Queen's summons. Present yourselves, O oh faithful of the Ivory Order. Your piece is in the middle of the screen. Left, uh, use left stick to move in the direction you want. Okay. Move to the queen. Um... As you continue on your journey, your objective will change. Press the Y button wherever you need a reminder of what to do next. You will see cards with glowing edges on your adventure. Step onto the onto one to trigger an event that will move the story along. Move to the queen. From upon her throne, the queen regards the adventurers. So you are disciples of the Order. Yes. The youngest of the three steps forward. She holds herself with well-born grace. I am Winifred of the Ivory Order, Your Majesty, she says. I lead this fellowship. She bows, glancing to her two companions. In response, the stern-looking one inclines his head and brusquely names himself Berwin. Mm -hmm. The older man is the picture of courtesy as he genuflects and introduces himself as Hedwin. Oh, I like that. It's like they're using card shifting animations. To, like, display character traits. Like, the other one was, like, a short, like, up and down. It was, like, you know, how we guys do head nods. It would be, like, a form of acknowledgement. Uh, but this one tilted like he has performed a bow. And I like that. That is, that is a small detail. But I love it. And I genuinely appreciate it. It is these three our story follows today. Awesome. In other words, you're parting. The queen acknowledges the fellowship with a nod. In a soft voice, she explains her errand. Someone has stolen the royal treasure. I bid you reclaim it. Under normal circumstances, I would entrust this to my soldiers. But I do not wish to spread thin my forces with the recent monster troubles. It seems the troubled queen is judged she can entrust this matter to none but the Ivory Order, beloved of the people and unmatchable in battle. Awesome. It is our honor to serve you, Your Majesty. And thus, the quest falls to the Fellowship. Nice. Short of any clues that could lead them to the culprit, however, they press the queen for further information. Uh, what is the royal treasure? Did you see the thief, your majesty? Shall there be a reward? What is the royal treasure? That, that, that seems very important. The fellowship asks the queen what the royal treasure is. The queen describes a bottle containing a certain liquid. Without it, she trails off, but the desperation in her voice suggests its loss could spell disaster for the kingdom. All right. It's a much slower tone. 
Uh, did you see the thief, Your the Majesty? Fellowship asks the Queen if she knows anything about the thief. The Queen says witnesses might be found at Nexton. Shall there be a reward? Usually, one would expect recompense for this sort of undertaking. As also, I want to point out that this is against the tenants of the Ivory Order. You hold your tongue. Um. Anyway, uh. So I, I want to point out that this game is another sign that this game is made over in the, uh, Japan. Is the fact that it, and it's, you may have saw me like screwing around a little bit earlier. Um, but the controls are reversed, where B is accept and A is. Uh, back but um yeah <laughs> I get this feeling all the time when I'm playing on my switch uh all right hold your, hold your tongue the queen however has already said she will reward the fellowship with whatever they desire G big titty goth gf can I get one of those <laughs> Kidding, kidding. Uh... It seems the royal treasure is just that important. Pray Terry no longer here. I await news of your success. The fellowship bows and takes their leave. Heads off to Nexton. Uh, press the menu open. Uh, me press the menu button to open the menu. Okay, I was gonna use the uh, uh, the, the, the back button. <laughs> Kidding. Um, there you can perform various actions such as saving and changing skills or equipment. Uh, the cards you encounter on your journey will be added to your collection, which also can be found from the menu screen. Give it a look from time to time. So I'm wondering if this is just an RPG with card art. Set up. Okay, so that. We'll hit save. Fuck, I, I didn't actually save. I hit the wrong button. I'm holding an Xbox controller, so I'm thinking... Yes. All right. And then back. No. Items, equipment. Skills. So we can restore 15 HP. Or deal damage. How much damage? I don't know. Uh... This big old dude, uh, deal damage, add value overall to attack, and deal bolt damage. Okay. Oh my god, this is going to drive me crazy. Back again. Welcome back, welcome back. This game is giving off a very, a slower vibe. Also, it's backwards. Uh, deal attack plus three damage. Fire, deal attack plus fire damage. Generate one gem. Okay. And what do I mean by backwards? Ex um, what I would consider accept is reverse. And what I... Uh, I mean, what I consider uh, accept is the back button for me. Or like the universal cancel. And vice versa. Alright. So if you see me like going back and forth in the menu, that's pro that's why. So crafted with sacred timber, adventurer's attire, designed by a tailor of great renown, empty. Okay. Simple breastplate. Okay. Ah, fuck it. 
Uh, adventures attire. Okay. All right. Let let let's actually play the game. We're 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 done with this. That's enough. We can waste no time finding the treasure. Winifred strides toward town. Now they seem to be going for uh a narrated approach. I'm not a huge fan of narr like heavily narrated uh, games because they remind me of like audiobooks on tape and I like having like varied voices. But I mean, I guess it would make sense, you know, for like something like this where you're interacting with a GM theoretically like supposedly, but I find that works better when you're doing with something like inscription where you have an end where you can see the GM across the table from across the table. Brass, where? <laughs> uh, earlier, uh, you had to be there, man. You missed it. Uh, man, how are we doing on time? We're doing really good. I'm surprised we beat inscrip uh, inscription so fast. Well, not beat, but got through the demo. Wait cries Berwin, blocking Winifred's path. A monster. You dare stand in our way? He sounds Berwin's tired. I wish he didn't creature. sound so tired. It lunges at the fellowship. Who are you who are you talking to? I'm talking to you? Oh, the, the the voice, the other voice, that's the narrator. He's like the game master. The the game master, exactly. It lunges at, to, at the fellowship. Alright, let's see how this combat goes. Oh my god, I don't want to kill that little fluff ball on the side. The fight is on. Take down all of the enemies and your victory shall be yours. Um, I <sighs> beat up the bully. We'll beat up him. Oh, we killed it. Oh wait, no, we didn't. That's defense, not health. Okay, I was looking at this. Number in red indicates HP. When a card's HP drops to zero, it becomes incapacitated. Suffocate the enemies. Titties. Yes. Awesome. Yep. Uh, with a card to XP drop it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yep. There, there's the titties. <laughs> Anyways, a card's attack is indicated in its lower left. Its defense is indicated in the lower right. Give careful consideration to you, to your and your opponent's values before acting. So she just did nine. All right. What's a gem? The fuck's a gem? All right, we'll find out right now. Are you good? Finish the fight. Uh, that does it for battle basics. The rest is up to you. Play your hand wisely. So how do I know? How do I know attack order? Because it went mage and it went lady, then the guy on the end. So. Oh, wait, 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 Okay, so we have five gems right here. If I use this... What would you call this kind of boob opening? It's not an under boob. It's not a inner boob. I don't know. Crab boob. No. Boop slot? Yeah, it, it's a very... Boop window, maybe. Maybe window boob. So, we have five of those things. I'm wondering if that is a gem. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. 
five. All right, so this should kill. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so this guy on the end here, we can't really see. The old man is like, helps us generate mana to cast our special skills. Uh, but we also seem to get one every turn. Lamar, just two boys asking questions of life. Yes. Uh. Pew. Can I just, uh, attack? Hmm. I'm gonna use some gems. Sorry, I hit the mic a little bit. It's like... Hmm. That attack ball, uh, looks suspiciously white. <laughs> Victory! Your party acquired experience in gold. Winifred heaves a disgruntled sigh as she smooths her rumpled garb. So that's Winifred there. Showing no signs of weariness from battle, Berwin silently wipes the monster's ichor from his weapon. Berwin must be the big guy. I know they've already... respects the remains of their foe. The queen spoke true, he mutters, his face masked in contemplation. Winifred gives a grim nod at his words. Yeah. Uh, I Hedwin. Yeah. Okay. So I'm liking Hedwin. His personality already rep uh, matches fairly well with how he, uh, how his cards work. Like his his uh main his first ability was called Contemplate, and we can already see that he's a bit pretty big uh big thinker, which I like. I like that. That that that's. I like how his personality has been able to be, have been translated into cards. Uh, gives a grim nod. They have the treasure's theft and the monster's behavior are connected somehow. First things first, the Fellowship needs to gather more information. To Nexton, they set their sights. Uh, yes, please. Take us to Nexton. Hey, what's next? I don't know, maybe Nexton? Uh, luckily for you, there are all sorts of establishments in town to support your adventures. Would you care to have them explained? Yes, please do. I need all the of them. This in, uh, recover your party's HP. The apothecary, we could purchase items to restore. And more, okay. This off oh oh uh hopping off early today need to get back into some kind of sleep schedule also celebrate ho uh Halloween at your grandmother's house oh that's sweet you too sugar have a good one yeah would you rather I called you epic instead of sugar or should I just stick to sugar because I don't know which to go with I've kind of you shall enjoy the weird window boob all right I will I will I will Thoroughly, well, not too thoroughly. That might be against uh, Twitch TOS, but you, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, they sell weapons and armor and give your party an edge in battle. This is the item shop. Stock handy items to use in your journey. Game pod. This is where you can play card games when you need to take a break from your travels. That's about sums it up. Awesome. Speak to the abbot. Gather information on the thief. Who stole the royal treasure? How may I help you? The proprietor inquires. Yeah, I would like to buy. Uh, so far, uh, either one is alright. So far, it's been the streamer who didn't want to call me Sugar because I don't care. Yeah. I mean, it's up to you. I don't really care either way. I just wanted to make... I just... 
I just wanted to be sure. Like, I, I've been thinking about it, and it almost sounds like I'm saying, hey, sugar. <laughs> like, I, I, I just want to be, I just want to be, um, uh, make sure. But, you know, just, yeah, good. All right, so cool, 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 cool. All right. Well, later, sugar. All right, uh, how may I help you? Per uh, yes, I would like to buy items. Ooh. Okay, we have four, 542 gold. Ring of protection. Hmm. What do I have now? Current gear. Uh, okay. We could upgrade our our big beefy baby boy. Back. Let's uh. I always like buying armor before gear. I mean before weapons. Buy and equip. Berwin's all set. Two hundred gold. Eesh. Ah, oh, god dang it. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just read the comment. No, I'm um, uh, <laughs> That's it. I'm calling you epic because of that. Oh, man. No. Alright, um, do I want this? Yeah, I want this. Uh, buy and equip. Winifred is all set. Will that be all? The proprietor asks. Uh, I would like to sell, yes. So go to B. Equipment. Do we have any items we can sell? Mm, no. Uh, yeah, that'll be all. Oh, uh, weapons, armor, and accessory cards are only effective once you equip them to your character. Yeah, that's pretty box standard. You fulfill the necessary requirement. Uh, requirements to unlock the blacksmith's character story. I'm too scared to look out. She's got a knife. There's monsters out there. The woman sighs. <laughs> she pulls out a Glock, shoots grandma dead. <laughs> um. Welcome to Nexton, hails a man. Uh, tell us about of this man. man doesn't respond to any question except to parrot back his original greeting. Uh, you fulfilled an uh to unlock mature man's character. The man helpfully advises you take the opportunity to purchase equipment and curatives while you are in town. What's with, is that a wooden knife? Is that a wooden dagger he's got? 
uh, average man's character story. Yes, we have. Fuck, what was he? Greeter. The fellowship asks. Mature man and average man. Yeah. The theft of the royal treasure. The man's eyes widen. He leans close to Winifred and whispers something in her ear. Mm hmm. Welcome. A woman sits hunched over by the side of the road. I think we got a winner here. Side of the fellowship, she calls out for their aid. She sprained her ankle and needs you to take her to the nearby apothecary. Winifred rushes to her and helps her up. Berwin lifts the woman onto his back. The fellowship sets out in search of an apothecary. Huh. I kind of expected them to, uh, take that and convert it into, um, like a, like, player choice or something. Transport the homo woman to the apothecary. You could jump over... Over to Upward Facing Terrain Cards. Use the right stick to choose the direction you want to jump and then press B. Try jumping to the Apothecary. You arrive at the Apothecary. <laughs> After taking a curative, the woman begins hopping up and down. Music in this game is definitely, like, this is zoning me out a little bit. Like, it, it's very calming. Almost too calming. I need something to comment on. I mean, did you? Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> um, I've been taking the curative one. Nothing holds a candle to ivory order medicine, she beams. She turns to the fellowship. Her eyes widening in surprise. It seems she's only now realized the fellowship. The woman takes each of their hands in turn, thanking them for their service. The Ivory Order is famous for providing medical supplies throughout the realm, and indeed the wider world. Every smile the Order brings to someone's face makes Winifred proud to be a disciple. Mm-hmm. Uh, you fulfilled the necessary requirements and unlocked mature woman's flip side story. You can read special stories about characters and enemies among your collected cards. Progress through the adventures and defeat the myriad enemies in your path to collect every special story. View your collection. Yes. Uh, speak to the habits of next to gather information about the royal treasure. I accidentally pressed B. Um, so that's Winifred Berwin. All right, so let's read this. Uh, Winifred was born in to the Ivory Order and carries herself of grace, expected of all ladies there. Of all ladies therein, uh, her fellow Order members uh, find her mage trained a boon in their travels. Flip over. You can look for or to the back of these cards in the whole uh, story, the retail version of the game. Okay. All right, hold on. Let's do what to do with this.
Where's settings? I need to find settings. Um, let me hit save. All right, and uh, options. Okay, here we go. Game settings, subtitles, license, sound. Text set confirm. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, confirm. No, wait, I have to confirm with the confirm A B cancel. Oh my god. I am so glad I could do that. That's just That's just gonna make my life so much easier. Okay. Uh, how are we doing on time? We are doing okay. I'll take a break in a little bit. Just scratch. Now the carter is very pretty. I like it. Order medicine, proclaims the woman, swigging this curative and that. The woman begs the fellowship for their autographs. She seems to greatly admire the order. Could be a witch. Trying to get our signatures. I know there's nothing to worry about with disciples of the order here, she says. Relief. Upon asking, the woman says she was attacked by a monster outside of town. A strange creature, she says. Nothing but bones. And it clutched a bottle of medicine as if its life depended on it. Did you fulfill the necessary uh, unlock the woman's character story? Hmm. Well, now that I've gotten like the basic gist of this game, I kind of like it. I think I would get this. Uh, matter of fact, I probably will. Um, it's like an RPG pace, but for like a card game. And well, no, it's like someone built an RPG. But all they had was cards. And like somebody was like trying to design an RPG by doing so. And I think this is really cute. Would I call this a card game? Not in the sense, no. I, I, I probably wouldn't call this a card game. I would just think, and the reason for that is that it's not using standard card game mechanics like a deck that is shuffled. Or whatnot, but I would call it a card. Now, does it use a card style? Yeah, I feel like it. Like its definition of a card game is more attribute to the style of the game rather than the gameplay of the game. That's how I feel about this game so far. I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna get it because hell, I'm invested. And. Yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Um, so, we've got... I'm going to go on break. Um, and then I'm going to hit... Yeah, I'm going to save it right there. I probably will come around one day and play this game again. Uh, I will definitely buy the game. Uh, that's without a doubt. But... I don't know. Uh, it's very slow. It is a little slow pacing, at least for now. Um, I could... It definitely reminds me of, like, that tone of Nier. And, like... Of, like, some of the Nier games. Um... I think it's worth checking out. I, I, it's just, it's a little weird to me because I wouldn't consider this a card game because the card aspect is not that of 
the gameplay, more of that the art style and world environment. And I think it's pretty cool. I I would call this more of an RPG than a card game. I, it, this is tricky because there have been other times where I would just straight up say, this ain't a card game. Like when people put like perk decks or like shit like that into first person shooters. Well, this game is made an almost entirely of cards. I don't know if I would call it a card game, but I, I'm still very, and I'm not saying that like as a negative. I'm saying that as in like a creative, um, like a pure disclaimer scientific way, if that makes any sense. Do I like this game? Yeah, I kind of like it. I could see myself playing this on Wednesdays. Uh, I just wouldn't consider it a traditional. Well, I really wouldn't call it a card game. I would just call it a card style RPG. Card art style RPG. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, I love the aesthetic. I think it's great. And uh, I will definitely be playing this game again at the very least but um yeah uh we'll go i'm just trying to figure out what i want to do um i'm definitely going on break but i don't know if i want to keep playing this for a little longer and then go over we'll play this game a little longer just to see how it is but i'll go over to ring of pain once we hit uh that second hour mark uh nonetheless but yeah that'll be uh let me go on break and i'll be right back uh there's gameplay there's break
Twitch chat. I am back. How we doing? All right. So we're going to keep playing this for a little bit longer. Uh, and then we'll uh, check out Ring of Pain. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Uh, let's continue to have it. I want to check out one thing. There we go. Let's still check out our main characters. Uh, Ivory Order values warriors as level-headed and trustworthy as Ber uh, Berwin. Warriors who approach the wood chop, uh, who approach wood chopping and bodyguard detail with equal amounts of intensity and fortitude. Uh, the entire Ivory Order reveres heroin for his wisdom. Uh, when a young woman was placed in his care, his obsessive focus on etiquette revealed another side of exacting disciplinarian. The loss of her family uh, took her to the brink of ending her own life. Then she heard about the uh, an island where anyone could find happiness. What's this one? He made a promise to the love of his life when they when they were married. I shall love you till death do us part. One half century later, he has proven to be a man of his word. Aww. Not a day passed that he didn't wear his hair or arrange his clothes just the way he let. But um, hold on. Okay, never mind. Just the way she liked. Uh, she was the prettiest girl in the village, and one day he was sure she'd notice him. Uh, everyone wears a mask and cloak. White is drip. Uh, Royal Guard. Everyone wears a, a white a mask and cloak. Why is the driven snow? It suits her just fine. More than fine. One might say she joined the Ivory Order just to wear it. One would be wrong. Uh, he was a taciturn, kept his head down, uh, and he did his duty. Not only his comrades could ever recall hearing his voice. No ruler is safe from fear and worry, but Queen Nila har harbors a knot in her gut unrelated and more personal than the recent rise of monster activities. All right. All right, let's go check out this. You make your way to the inn where you're greeted with a hearty hello by the owner. You're from the Ivory Order, aren't you? Thanks to a royal decree, you're allowed to stay the night for free. And you're not about to refuse such hospitality. Cool. Let's rest. <laughs> the party leaves the inn feeling rested. <laughs> um, it reminds me of like you awake well rested in Skyrim, like how you, like the little notification you get in Skyrim, where like. Fallout 4. Apparently, there's a monster lurking around the outskirts of town stealing medicine and only medicine. Rumors claim the monster fled to the west. Okay. With a little more information, the thief is as good as called. So what, what else did we get? Abilities, right now, own cards, collection, characters. Uh, he was a sickly child who spent his days gazing out the window, longing to run and play with the others. If he could just do that, he, taking the bitter, taking the bitterest medicine was cake. 
them all. Uh, this little fluff matures their fur grows until it covers their face. As quite as the existential threat, they notice other monsters to trim their fur so they can see. Oh, they entice other- sorry, I, I misread that. They entice other monsters. They don't notice other monsters. Uh, listen carefully to in any woodland and you'll bounce- or child. Okay. And this one was called Furball. Uh, listen carefully to any wood in any woodland, and you're bound to hear a methodical tapping, tap tapping, of these little fellows with wooden mouths. Monsters consider them master craft orcs. All right. They said something about a story we could do. But I guess not. It would be unwise to leave the town with so few leads. Perhaps you'd have the fellowship ask around for more information. All right. An innocent looking young boy accosts the fellowship. Want to play a game with me? He asks expectantly. All right. I am curious about this game parlor. In this parlor, you can play cards. The child rambles on, wheedling you. I'll give you this if you play with me. Dispel or cure target curse. How to play. Very well, you can learn the basic rules of your game. Are you ready? Yes. So it seems they put a card game inside of a game of cards. <laughs> uh, the goal is to use your cards to get more points than the other player. Uh, you get points by arranging your cards into sets of matching cards or consecutive straights. Try making a set. Uh, with the game starts, each player is dealt their hand one card at a time. Winifred's turn. Uh, everyone takes their, act, uh, takes their action in turn order. You're up first. Draw two cards from the deck. You have three cards. Select the two of the same number. Uh, the set is worth four points. Uh, make the selected set. Yeah. Hmm. When you make a bet, you earn points equal to it. Um, mm -hmm. Hold up. Alright, done with that. Uh, sorry, I've been chewing on a popsicle. Uh, when you make a set, you earn points equal to the sum of numbers on the cards. From any cards left over, you can choose one to remain in your hand. This is the end of your turn. Next, I'll ask for the other player. I don't have any cards that can make a set. When that happens, you have to discard all but one card from your hand. It's your turn, but let me tell you about taking opportunity to explain the play screen. This, uh, this is your player card. This is where you can see how many points you have. The sets you have made here you can have up to three sets at one time. You can see what you have left in your hand here. The pot is at the top. Any player can use these cards when matching sets. All right, cool. Cards remain. Uh, and the deck is shown up. The upper left re reaches zero. The game is over. And the put. Uh, that's the play screen. Let's return to the game. I believe it was your turn. For its turn, draw two cards from the deck. Try making a set from the cards in the pot and what's in your hand. 
Up to three cards, having three A's, try making a set. I like this music that I'm hearing currently. Uh, this says worth three points. Really? Alright, fine. Make a set. That's it for your turn. Yeesh. Uh, yep, he's going to do that. It would be literally foolish to uh, do any other move because then I could take those cards. Uh, draw two cards, and I can make a set with my own cards. By the way, you can also make sets with cards with consecutive numbers on them. But you only make one set per turn. You can make a two card set with three is or a three card set with two, three, four. Make whichever one you prefer. So let's see, three and three is six, or two, three, four, I would imagine. Yeah, it's uh, nine, so let's do that. Yes, do that. Remember when that what I told you about sets? You can make sets from two or three cards of the same number. Or from three of the consecutively numbered ones. But you can only make one set per turn. And you only have up to three sets at a time. When you make a fourth set, you'll have to discard one of the sets you already have. That's it for the basic rules. Alright, let's play this game. One, two. Nice. All right, let's beat this punk. But not least, uh, let me explain the menu screen. Uh, bring up the menu screen there. You can look at the rule book or decide to abandon. I'll complete a set to complete a set of two, three cards of the same number uh, from your hand or the pot. Wait, what? Complete a set of two, three cards of the same number uh, from your hand or the pot or three consecutively numbered cards. Okay, okay. Yes, make this point. Well, let's get rid of this. Uh, that's the game now for who is our winner. Hey, we just barely beat him. Whew. Alright, we'll play him with cards. The rules for a single one are the basic. Begin the game. <sighs> Let's see who will go first. game parlor goes first. The game begins. Dude, this is so easy. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Yes, please. I will take that to the bank. Uh, discard the weaker card. Wow, 
Wow, he kind of sucks at this. Oh, he's just bad luck. He's just got some shitty luck. Uh, five and five. Yep. Let's see what you can do here. Oh, this is just the same one as earlier. So there's only one seven left. Should we... Uh, see all. He doesn't have that seven yet either, so... We'll... Ah, hell, we'll get rid of it. We'll get rid of the low little two. He is going for that, which is fine. It's fairly low. It's not a bad turn. What a friend's turn. What you got? Draw two cards from the deck. Will he draw? He did not draw the seven. Okay, so we still have the seven option. cards left this was a little slow considering that they have to pop up a, uh, a little interface thing every single time it's like oh yeah you can't do anything well fuck <laughs> a five would be nice that pair and if we just hold on to that seven he can never use it I think we've got this in the bag already Uh, he gets one more turn after this. Seven, six, five. Yes. And then you can only have three set. Get rid of this one. Yeah, but it's only worth three points. Why did you get rid of that one? Get wrecked, you noob. You beat him by 40 points. Thanks for playing, the boy squeals. Hands over the medicine bottle. As promised. Dispeller. Uh, cure target of curse. Add skills. Uh, 
The following rules are now available. Add skills. Skill effects? Okay. Uh, you can select the multiplayer game parlor from the tile screen. Oh, okay. You filled the necessary game parlor's character story. Pothic. Well, may I help you? The apothecary catches sight of the fellowship. Ah, the eye. She gestures to the drawers filled with her wares. Pray, choose one of my concoctions and take it at no. The fellowship insists they will pay as any other customer would. And sets about browsing her wares. Uh, cure target of deadly poison. Cure target of. De <laughs> I'll buy this. Buy. That be all, the proprietress asks. Character story. Oh. How may I help you? The proprietress inquires. Soothstone and bomb. No thanks. Well, that be She's kind of cute, aren't I? I like asks. her style. Leave. The man claims he saw us. He didn't get a good look. The fellowship thanks the man for the useful information. Thanks to the information gleaned from the townsfolk, the fellowship is all but certain of who has stolen the royal treasure. The first clue was the queen's description of the treasure. A small bottle. Then there's the bony figure seen fleeing town. The skeletal monster clutching the bottle. From all that information, the fellowship distills the thief's true identity. Skel a scrawny tree or I haven't a clue. The skeletal monster. Strikes Winifred. I know who our thief is. Game is going at such a slow pace, it has to ask. Hey, are you paying attention to the obvious thing that is obvious? The monster made of bones, Hedwin interjects. The one that fled away. Erwin nods in agreement, as if to say, another sage pronouncement from the great and wise Hedwin. Winifred clears her throat, proclaims that the fellowship shall head west, out of town, and walks off. All right. Travel west and pursue monster. Actually, no. I'm gonna check one last thing just to be sure. Ah, oh, that's cute. That's cute. I love it. All right, let's. We can now go. Let's go. Uh, while exploring the world deep dungeons, you will encounter enemies of which you must do battle. Uh, the adventure will be over uh, if everyone in the party is KO'd. Should your journey be uh, unfortunate, you can continue from your last set point, so it is in your interest to save often. Select data from the main menu. Alright. Ah, this is where you can get those other ones. The weapons, items, apothecary, uh, innkeeper, and game parlor. I think that was all full, all of them, right? Early in the morning, she wakes up, gets early to get ready for breakfast, and every morning she has to, has to take it to her husband's abuse. Oh wait, every morning she has to take her husband's foot. There's only so much a woman can stomach. So that's why she's got the knife. Uh, hello, striking out on your own, are you? 
Oh, I've been at this long enough to size people up at a glance. Don't worry, I'll make you exactly what you need. She was quick to hire her gentle... She was a quick hire. Her gentle disposition was sure to attract a few more customers. They figured no one was prepared for the crush the, cust the crush of customers that ensued. Aw. Oh, okay. Wow, you can really get up in there. Cool. Like, it looks like I'm actually looking at, like, a, some, like, hand-drawn art. Kind of. I don't know. It's cute. I like it. Aww. Uh, he confesses his love to her and asks her to live with him. Uh, live together with him. He pledged to make her happy. She nodded and agreed readily. Who is him? I must know. He's cute. Uh, rumors about the sweet innocent boy who greets patrons of the game pilot receives a small bonus from the owner whenever the house wins in a game of cards. Her moist glistening eyes, the lone bright spot in her dimly lit shop blocked on me as soon as I set foot. Her uncanny cr croaking laughter sent shivers down my an enemy appears! Huzzah! Let's do this. The gems are what you need to spend it. Uh, you gain one gem whenever you can, you can store up to ten at once. Icon indicates how many skills it costs. Can it, you know. Yeah, let's get rid of this. What was that? Intimidation. Inflict down defense if the roll is more greater. Oh, I wish I had an AoE attack right now. Uh, some of your attacks inflict... Uh, are elemental in nature. The six elements are fire, water, bolt, lightning, wind, light, and dark. Bolt. Cards take more damage from elements they are weak to and less damage from elements they are. Knowing your enemy's weakness and strengths will help you choose which skills to wield to your advantage. Alright, you can heal. Uh, we're just gonna bolt. That's gone. Magic strike. A good warrior wastes no time. Hey, she leveled up. White light, heal, deal, plus sanitic light damage. Is that a new skill? Yeah, that is new skills. Okay, add value overall to attack and deal wind damage. My enemy appears. Anyways, I think we're going to call it relatively soon because I want to get on to the next game. Um... have to use this we'll do this here I really wish he had a basic attack yeah just deal damage a 
good one to waste no time. Uh, when you're low on HP, open the menu. The okay. Owned cards. Use your cards. Yeah. Let's just make sure we're not low. Uh, 21, 26, 26. Yeah, we're fine. Chest. Big chest ahead. <laughs> that was an old Dark Souls. Uh, I mean, antidote. Not just that. And your new me appears. Uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and save right after this fight. This will be the last thing we do in here. Um, I got distracted. I didn't mean. To. Uh, select items with the X button to make use of them. Uh, while carrying many items, uh, left bumper to scroll. Okay, so it, it doesn't go to a mall. Wait, inspiration. Okay. White light. Oh, all right. Good warrior wastes no time. So that was, um, oh, what was it called? Uh, one sec, I'm gonna save and then I'll exit. If I know how to exit. <laughs> I might not be able to find my way to the main menu, gang. All right. Screen save, second. No. Uh, set up party. How do I exit game? I'm just. Uh, no. Come to cards, key items, no. Data. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to quit, right? Yeah, I'm not seeing it up. Skills, abilities, party, card zone, collection, data. That's nine options, right? Maybe it was game settings. All right, no, I guess I just literally have to do a hard quit. I don't want to do this. Um, all right. Well, but anyways, that was a uh, voice of cards. Isle of dragons roar. It's a cool little RPG, not so much a card game, but just straight up just an RPG. So we'll, uh, that was pretty cool. I will definitely be picking that up as well today. Uh, demos, but for our next demo, we will be doing ring of pain. Well, that boots up and that loads up for you guys. I'm going to chain update the stream info. Ring of Pain. There we go. There we go. Close. All right. Loading. Ribbit. Okay. So, Ring of Pain. What do I know about this game? Not that much, to be honest. I saw the trailers. Uh, I just thought the trailers were so fun, so much fun, and well. Uh, we'll put, uh, they just had a, it was just one big rhyme fest and I enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, I figured, ah, uh, hell, it's a card game. Let's give it a try. Oh, right. Shit. <laughs> I'm having to go back to my keyboard. One sec. All right. A quick note. This game is still in development. There may be bugs, place, and um, placeholder. To improve the experiments, we use analytics to help, uh, balance the game. Uh, thank you for trying your demo. Okay. 
ring of pain. That was cool. I like that. I'm already giving props to the animation and art direction. Your attack targets defense. Defense. Alright. Appear self is shown off. Uh, damage projections appear. Alright, so this has four and four. Uh, wait, why do we take one? Oh, because this is a power of two and we have armor. Seeing combat outcomes means you can focus on your decisions. Here, child. If you create your stats. Rot Hound. Uh, creatures attacks includes physical and piercing. Physical damage can be blocked by your defense. Uh, piercing damage will hit unless parry. You gain parry chance if your defense blocks all physical. Defense reduces incoming damage. Speed determines who attacks first in combat. So we're going to get hit by... So we're likely to take three from this. Because it's got four, we take... Right, okay, so it's got four regular, we block two of that, and then we take an additional one from piercing. Duff. Hello. Hello, friend. Pass by me through the nest. Take the light, dark with dark contests. <laughs> so not only is the trailer rhyme, the entire- this game likes to rhyme. Alright, alright, cool, cool. Okay, 20% chance of stealth. I'm just gonna be gained in... Diving deeper, challenge steeper. Uh, I want to attack this. Uh, passing hostile creature needs stealth. Failing stealth gives the creature a free attack. Okay. Reveal all cards. Mm, I think that is some. Are those monsters or chests? Like they, I think these are mimics. Like I can see in the background. Uh, let's fight. Oof, we're low. Uh, we can either take a glass shield or a bandana. Uh, defense, health, dodge chance, attack. Oh! Plus four attack when health. Well, this hurts and weakens, so I'll take the smaller buff with a nice little special. Uh, passing this needs a stealth. Uh, failing stealth gives a chance of creature a free attack. I guess we go this way then. Finders keepers. Bearing a gift, a scavenged prize, a poisoned dagger for my surprise. To my surprise. Plus two poison on attack. Sure. Two of two. Rainbow socks. <laughs> uh, roll set three of that. Where? Uh, I'll take the rainbow socks. That's pretty goofy. Barrier. Some creatures perform at an action after each turn. So the actions are shown above here. Uh, 
Uh, move and prepare to self-destruct. Oh, fuck. You take no damage next turn. Yeah. Spells are usable and can be cast on demand. Uh, some have cooldown display though. Okay, we took care of that. Uh, I'll take the boon. Take the boon. Mm. Can we kill this or should we leave? This is pretty cool. I think it's the biggest, the most stylistic game we've played today. Although every game is pretty damn stylistic. It's got like a neon, like scratch look, uh, ed and hard edges kind of feel. Uh, nah, let, let's just get while the go going is good. Reprieve. Take this. Who are you? Why am I here? Where do I go? Who are you? I have many names from which to choose. Al might be the best for me. I don't think we can beat that. The, 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 I think take fighting this thing would be very foolish. Can we pass him? Will he let us pass? Wait, what? Curse resist. This sounds very bad. Maybe we need this many to appease it. Uh, I see items, so let's pass over and, uh, your speed is higher, you attack first. It blew up in our face. Deal one damage to a random creature when hit. It's a stat boost there. A scroll here. I kind of want to... Next action moves towards you. Mm. What is this? Can I see it? No, it won't let me. Hmm. Get while the getting's good. A careful maneuver. Ay ay ay. I'm seeing buffs this way, so... Last it. Newly discovered statistics. Uh, what is this? Did we just die? I think we might have died. Fractal. Okay. Killed by huge fire hive. Okay, try again. I'm guessing we don't keep any of our items. I guess we'll try it. Uh, one soul damage to random creature after attack, sure. Fuck, <laughs> this is already a very bad run. Uh, bearing gift, a scavenged prize. Guards to my surprise.
Oh yes, thank you. Can we sneak past it? Stealthy? Yeah, we can. Curse slash resist. So I think this is either, hey, it could be good, could be bad. Are you willing to take the risk kind of deal? Potion. I think we have to risk it. Volatile. So we froze that so we could pass by safely, but I don't know if we can freeze that. Okay, try again. This is a weird game. Uh, grab this and this. Okay, death effect explodes. Death effect none. We should try sneaking past it. There we go, because we poisoned it. So when it looks like this, it's not a scroll, it's like a spell book that we can reuse. Okay. Moving onward, moving onward. Hey, plus one poisons, two attacks. This is reminding me of a game called Risk of Rain, where you just get a bunch of like random items and junk that do stuff, and hopefully you can snowball uh, to the point of getting, you take, yeah. Kill the rat, kill the rat, take this. And then just Boon City! Uh, nullify five. Uh, explosion damage five times. Chugging Maz, drinking a health potion while it full gives plus one to the health stat. That is pretty good. Uh, but I want to get the heat shield. Yeah, we were right. Uh,. Dungeons have plus two cards. Creepy doll. No, that sounds horrible. Uh, five items equipped. Yeah, let's try. Do we? Your speed is higher, so you attack first. If shouldn't we? No. Oh, okay. So we deal five, it hits us, and then it dies to one poison damage. So yeah, never mind. Let's go here, get the reprieve. Put us to one or it could heal us to twelve. Where am I? Where do I go? What happened? I found you in the shadows hold captive to a dream, not its soul. Chance to gain stat or curse. Curse deals damage but cannot kill you. I feel like we're good. Let's go. Let's 
What the hell are you? Restless Triad. The Generalist. Yeah, let's get more items so we get uh, Hermit's Tiara. Camouflage. Uh, ranged creatures won't attack you. Use points and use Damn. Uh, what do we want? Also, shit. Sorry if I haven't been commentating. I've, I've. This game makes me really go into the think tank. Alright, let's just move on. Ambush. Okay. Dead rat. Dead rat. You're dead. Oh shit. No, you gotta hit on us. Uh, unstable. F yeah, let's grab that. Oh, a visitor. Uh, one for you and two for me. I value. I for value. Keen, I see. So we get get the buff. We could heal. Uh, buff or the heal. Buff or the heal. Go from twelve to fifteen, or get a permanent health boost. I'm gonna get the heal. I think that's more important. Four. I say go ahead and deal with this fucker. Why is this one different? Grab this. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Uh. And we exit to here, whatever is here. New path. Okay, uh, very trippy. Hello, what are you? Are you alive? Hello? Listen closely, can't talk long. Sirens watch, beware their song. Wait, does that little symbol I just clicked on, does that mean end conversation? If so, fuck. Yeah, our attack is nine, so we can clear out a lot of this stuff. And we have the black fire shield. Yes, gimme. Add death effect. Explodes for four to target. Wait, what? Immolation? Add death effect. Explode for four to target after attacks. Why would I get this? Gain knockback. Uh, re-roll. I would like to re-roll up. Uh, deal two soul damage to a random creature after attack. Uh, yes please. This is a little better. Fuck! 
I bet that was the super really good god tier item. Uh, plus 10% chance to stealth, please. Let's go. Closer. Flesh approach. I have prepared the soil you walk upon. Lay down flesh. It is not yet time to carry on. A body lost to the worlds between calm and forever. Mind serene. Demo completed. Can you survive the full experience? Alright, so that was a creepy and weird ass game. I don't know if so, all right, that was a roguelike. Um, I think it's pretty interesting. Like, I could see myself playing that. Um, I think this game would be great for playing on the go if you had like a platform to do it on. Um, I don't know if. I'm going to stream more of this mainly because it just doesn't work with my stream style and like I I know you probably know this I went into the tank like a lot during that stream and like whenever I what I mean by going into the tank I mean by uh, not very talking a whole lot and then just like overthinking and then like forgetting that hey dummy you're streaming so I like this game I think it's pretty cool um, I, I, I think it's a nice, fun little game. You can get through it pretty short, pretty quickly. Uh, I think runs can be fairly short. Um, so yeah, if you like, it, it's definitely creepy. I don't trust that little, uh, that little owl thing. Um, so yeah, that was a stream. Um, so, yeah, anyways, um, do I recommend this game? If you like this type of thing, sure. Would I call this a card game? I feel like the roguelike elements are a bit stronger than an actual card game, and there's not really that much of a card game to it. I think it's just, it's theoretically a card game yes uh but i think that's mainly just a you it feels like to me that it's more like of a ui way to display information and it's just quick fast and efficient way to display information i mean maybe not quick fast and efficient but like it it, it gets the job done and like oh here's this here's that um and I think it's pretty cool. Um, if you like roguelikes, you might like this. Um, I think theoretically anyone could play this. Like, it's not super intensive. Um, I mean, maybe on your brain, but like, you know, you don't need like extreme hand eye coordination or anything like that. Um, I think it's a fun little game. Um, coming 2020. Oh, anyways, so, yeah, speaking of coming 2020, uh, anyways, gang, so all of these three games, I think they were all pretty good. Each was a little bit different than the other. Um, this was, I mean, this was a good burst of, like, card games to get this year. And, like, would I recommend each of these? Yeah, I kind of would. Would I call them all card games in the traditional sense? Um, yes and no. They all use cards and an element. I wouldn't consider them, like... I mean, technically, none of these are deck builders. Well, hold on. That, that, I, that's an... Im that's not the correct way to say that. What, um... Uh, I'm... Like, you're not building a deck in any of these, and it's not, like, a deck builder game. Well, shit. Some of these are deck builders, yes. Um... Okay, let me be 100% clarified. Clarify. You're not building a deck to go into a game like these, like you would like with Magic the Gathering. Uh, Slay the Spire, yeah, it, it's kind of like those games. Some of these are. Uh, 
particularly Inscription, which I definitely will probably stream Inscription later at some point, uh, wherever I get a chance to have it on the side. Maybe just for like a backup game or whatever one, uh, for whatever Wednesday or just like weekend streams like we did today. But yeah, I enjoyed card. Uh, I enjoyed this. I think this this was a pretty cool game. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. These aren't like tradi Um, well, they're far from traditional. But I so far my biggest um. My, my favorite for today, probably Inscription, mainly because of, like, the elements it uses and, like, the ideas that it can generate from that. Um, I do like the, the, the one by the Nier, uh, creator. I like that one, too. Um, uh, that one just uh, has a stylistically, uh, approach to it, as well as this one, but, I mean, it's... It's more like, that one's, the, the second one we did today was more like an RPG, um, but in a world made of cards. Um, so yeah. How do I like it? Uh, hi, lukewarm feeling. How do I like it so far? Which one are you talking about in particularly? Uh, I think all three games which we did today were pretty good. This one, um, Ring of Pain, Ring of Pain. Uh, I liked it, um. Uh, I think I, I, I kind of worry for it because it's kind of similar to Inscription. I find it pretty dope and I love that it's on Xbox Game Pass. Well, that's pretty... That's, the, hey, that's another reason to play it. <laughs> so, you, so I don't have to pay a dime. Yeah. I did go... Um, oh, wait. No, I'm playing the demo. <laughs> Sorry. I'm thinking of a different game. But um, yeah, I think it's all right. Uh, I like the, the, the tone... I think it's, it, it, it just came out, it, I'm hoping that people will see it differently and will give it a fair shot. Uh, it did kind of have a bad timing, it came out in a time, wait, no, didn't it come out a while back? Yeah, sorry, I'm just, it reminds me of, a, it's fairly, it's very similar to Inscription. Uh, yeah, it's got, it is simple, it is very simple and it's got a fast turn, like I am, like, there was a moment where I'm just, like, dealing five, going through it, like, five clicks at a time. Like, yeah, this one, this one, this one, this one. And I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. And it's, like, I'm glad I did this stream today because it's gotten, it's challenged my perception of what I would call a card game. Um, with Inscription, it's really good about perspective and, like, the ability to walk away from the table. With, um soul of cards that we did yeah it's less of a card game with soul of cards that wasn't a card game that was an rpg in a world made of cards and yeah 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 and then this one this is like an, a, a roguelike with a card game ui and i know that sounds uh, it's may not sound right but it's like it uses cards as a way of quickly and easily displaying information. And I think that's a pretty okay route. Um, and I like the tone. The tone is pretty good. The tone is pretty good. Other than that, oh, what else do I have to say? So, I am, like, we, a lot of the recent card games like these uh, came out relatively short. And I'm surprised. I didn't... The only other card games that I've known about that have been, like, full-on, full-on card games that have come out in recent memory um, is Shadowverse Champions Battle. I think that was the last one where we got, like, a campaign card game where it's, like, a, a story that you play through and you build your deck over time. Um, but other than that, the only other one that comes to mind for, is... Uh, hasn't even come out yet. It's more of, like, recent memory. And that's going to be um, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is doing one for uh, uh, Rush Dueling. They're doing a uh, a little fun, playable game for Rush Duels. I think they're also coming out with a, a little mobile game, but eh, I don't want to. I I have fallen into the trap of that stuff with the real card game. I'm 
I, I'm glad that more people are making card games, it seems like. It, it feels like we got a good surge of card games this October. And, yeah, I'm happy. I'm very much happy. Um, yeah. I mean, like, while, other, while there are going to be people... Well, while in the past it had seemed like uh, the great card games such as, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic are, are, are shifting away from actual gaming experiences and more like cash cow uh, TCG replications. It, it, it brings a joy to my heart to f see like the smaller, indier, and more weird card games like this. And I, I really do like that. I really, really do like that. Um, what else could I say? So yeah, and I there are so there's been that. Uh, there's also been like the deck builders, like um, Slay the Spire and a bunch of games like that. Those are pretty good too. Uh, not necessarily my pr cup of tea, but I can still like they're still fun to me. Uh, like I I could still have a good time with those. Um, and then, so yeah, I'm, I'm gl I, I really am happy. It's nice to see people actually getting creative with card systems. Um, rather than people just like calling boxes with abilities on them card systems. Like, uh, I think, uh, the last time I can remember, uh, ah, shoot, what am I trying to think of? There's some like MOBAs that came out a while back. Um, uh, and like they would have like card systems. And I'm like, that's that's not a card system. That's just picking different abilities, to, uh, slotting them into different slots. The only reason you're calling it a card system is because there are a bunch of squares, <laughs> a bunch of rectangles. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm glad to, uh, I was able to do that. Um, Ring of Pain seems to be more something I would do on my own time. But the other two games, I will probably definitely stream, like, the full, flat-out, full version of the game. But other than that, I think I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up. Sorry, I accidentally went to break screen for a quick second. Uh, but yeah, thanks to everyone who came uh, out today. Epic Sugar, Lukewarm Feeling, really Nowhere Profit. Nowhere Profit? chill game and it's on game pass hold on let me let me let me you you you, you. Oh, um hold on let me back to menu come on come on game me I, I need to quit i need to quit thank you uh, thank you for my, you're welcome thank you for making a great game um whoever was oh crap i'm gonna feel like an asshole if i don't name drop the people um and that was made by Simon Boxer and Twice Different. Uh, and published by Humble Games. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but you were saying Nowhere Profit. Uh, let me see. Game Pass. Where is that? I can pull that up real quick. Uh, anyway, while well, that's pulling up. Um, so anyways, here's me stream schedule. I Today was like sort of a weird um, makeup stream. I, I That is... Uh, I admit I wasn't able to stream yesterday, so I did a makeup stream. Um, regularly scheduled streams will continue as regularly uh, next week. So, uh, Monday, I think we're starting Psychodots. Um, Wednesday, we're going to continue with our Digimon Story Let's Play. And then Friday, we're probably going to be doing more Tales of Bizarria. Um, but you were... Uh, lukewarm Feeling, you were saying Nowhere... Pra... Hold on, I had it popped up just a second. What is this? What is this game? Okay. Alright. Okay. So I'm seeing... Yeah. Kind of not... It looks like um, post-apocalyptic, kind of. It's pretty cool. I'll have to like check some videos on it and see what uh people are saying and like just to figure out what the heck it is um huh that's pretty cool uh it's similar in a card game style all right cool 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 
Well, uh, anyways, so I'll have to. I will definitely check that out later. I will see what that's all about. But um, anyways, uh, is there eight? Yeah, I went through the stream schedule. So, anyways, I think that's it. Uh, thank you, Luke Form Feeling, for popping in. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I think I'll call it a day there. Um, today was a good stream. I'm a. I think I'm gonna upload it to my YouTube channel actually. Um, and uh, yeah. All right. So, as I say at the end of all my streams, laissez bon temps rouler. <laughs>